Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in grade five, in module five, we are working on lesson number six, and that means that we are finding the total volume of solid figures, which are composed of two non-overlapping rectangular prisms. In other words, we're looking for the volumes of shapes that are made up of more than one shape. So let's take a look at a couple problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one asks us to do the following. It says, find the total volume of the figures and record your solution strategy. And then we've got our figure right here. Let's take a look at this. Hmm. So it looks like it's made up of two rectangular prisms. There's this long one right here, and then this short one right here. So let's see. Uh, the long one, I can see the length of that. Let's see. And can I see the height? Oh, yeah, I can see the height. It looks like the height of it is two inches. And can I see the width? Well, oh, I see. It doesn't label the width, the width of this longer uh, rectangular prism, but it does label the width of the smaller one. So I bet that's the same, right? The, this would be two inches wide. They're both, they both must be two inches wide. So this must be two inches wide. That is a width, too. Sorry, that's a terrible little N. Okay. And how about the smaller rectangular prism? Okay, I've got the length, and I've got the width, and then the height. Let's see. How tall is this part? Well, hmm. If I stack them both together, they're four inches tall. And this one on top is two inches tall, so I guess that means that this bottom part must be two inches tall, the part right there, two inches. So I think that gives us enough information to figure out our two rectangular prisms. So let's see, the, I'm going to take the large one first. The length of that is 13 inches times, let's see, two inches high times two inches wide. All right. And then I'm going to add the volume of the bottom ones. That's five inches long, five inches times, oh, times two inches high and two inches wide. Okay, so times two inches times two inches. Awesome. So I guess we could just go ahead and do that math. Let's see. Um, this would be 13 times four. 13 times four would be 52 cubic inches. And this one would be, let's see, Four, 2 times 2 is 4, times 5 is 20 cubic inches. So that would be a total of 72 cubic inches, 52 plus 20. What's our solution strategy? Well, let's see. There, we didn't have to do too much. I think the only thing is, um, let's see, I'd say we, <coughs> we figured, we figured out the height of the smaller one, the smaller shape. By taking the overall height minus the, what do we want to say, height of the top shape. That's our strategy. Every other measurement was pretty much out there, right? We already had the length, the width, and the height of this one, and we already had the length and the width of this one. We just needed the height of this one at the bottom. And once we had that, we had our two rectangular prisms, and once we, that's just a simple problem, right? It's two simple volume problems, one here and one here. No trouble. Let's take another problem from tonight's homework. Problem number four. The fish tank has a base area of 45 cubic centimeters, or sorry, square centimeters. Huh, so they don't tell us the length and the width, but they do tell us that the base area, I'll just let me put the base area, that's 45 square centimeters, okay? And it's filled with water to a depth of 12 centimeters. Okay, so that's 12 centimeters deep, right? Just the part from here to here. If the height of the tank is 25 centimeters, how much more water will be needed to fill the tank to the brim? Oh, okay, so the overall height is 25 centimeters. Oh, well, that makes it really easy to figure out what's left, right? It was, it's 25 centimeters tall. 12 centimeters deep is where the water is already, so that leaves 25 minus 12. That'd be 13 centimeters left to go. Let's see, so basically we're being asked what is this volume? The volume that's in the tank that isn't filled up yet. Well, let's see. We would normally say, well, let's take the length times the width times the height. But they don't tell us what the length and the width are, but they tell us the area of one of those 
uh, rectangles. We tell us, in other words, they tell us length times width. They tell us that's 45 centimeters squared. And then we just have to multiply by the height, 13 centimeters, 13 centimeters. This is actually exactly like the things we've done over the last couple of days, where we're basically take, we've been given the area, how many cubes are in that bottom layer, and we're just asked to stack the right number of layers, right? As if this is a birthday cake. In this case, it's a 13 layer birthday cake, a pretty awesome birthday cake. Um, but we already know how big one of the layers is, 45 square centimeters, and we need to multiply that times 13 copies, 13 layers all the way up. And that will tell us, um, and I, you know, I'm just realizing one more thing. They want to know this, uh, how much water it is. So once we get to the end, we're going to have cubic centimeters, but we're going to need to convert that into milliliters too. So let's go ahead and do 45 times 13. I might need to do that on the side. 45 times 13. See, 3 times 5 is 15, record the 1 under, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13, and then 1 10 times 5 is 5 tens, and 1 10 times 4 tens is 400. We'll add those partial products together, 5, 8, 5. So that is 585 cubic centimeters, and oh, I, we've had that thought bubble in the past, I'm not going to rewrite it, right, but cubic centimeters... Uh, have the same volume uh, as a milliliter. So this is the same as 585 milliliters. Uh, let's see, so they need, they need, oops, I'm gonna go with need with an N. They need 585 milliliters to fill the tank. Awesome. That gives us enough information, right, to, to answer this problem. We've done our read, our draw, and our write strategy. The drawing we didn't have to do too much of because they already had a tank displayed here. Um, but we figured it out. That's awesome. All right, well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.